Now if you've got a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 console but you find you never get any time on the thing because your TV's always being hijacked by your nan wanting to watch a bit of Love Island action, well, no worries. Because you can actually stream your games from the PS4 or the PS5 to your Android phone, your iPhone, your Windows PC and even a Mac computer using Sony's Remote Play app. Now Remote Play is designed to work of your home Wi-Fi network so theoretically you are limited to playing anywhere in your home as long as you've got a good wireless signal. And you will need a strong signal in order to play without any judders or the game breaking issues. So if you are lucky enough to live in quite a large homestead, definitely recommend getting a mesh Wi-Fi network on the go. But that's most definitely a subject for a whole different video. Now in this guide we're going to cover setting up remote play on your mobile device, your PC or your Mac all in turn. So just skip to the relevant section for your chosen device. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up, setting up remote play on your smartphone. Now the good news is you don't need a Sony smartphone in order to use remote play. Pretty much any Android device and even one of those bloody iPhone thingies will work just fine. That said, you will want a reasonably modern device with some of the latest Android or iOS software in order to get the controllers to work. More on that in a sec. So step one is download the remote play app. If you're using an Android device, just go to the Play Store and search for remote play. And the app you're after is PS Remote Play by the PlayStation Mobile Inc. If you're on an iPhone, same procedure, just go to the App Store, go to the search and then search again for remote play and get that app downloaded. Now whatever platform you use, the first step will be to sign into the PlayStation Network using your creds. It's basically using the same email address and password that you use to sign into your PlayStation. Once you're all signed in, the next step is to get your controller connected. This is where things start to get a little bit tricky depending on what actual smartphone you use. If you're using an Android phone, you'll have to be using at least Android OS 10, preferably OS 11, to get connected to your DualShock 4 controller via Bluetooth. Unfortunately, DualSense is not currently supported on Android. Pairing up the controller with your smartphone is nice and easy. Just hold down the PlayStation button and the share button simultaneously and you'll notice that lights start to blink. Then just go to your Bluetooth settings and you'll see wireless controller pop up in the available devices. Just give that a little tappy tap, accept the pairing request and boom. That flashing light should now be a nice relaxing blue color. Now I highly recommend grabbing some sort of grip accessory. You can grab this one direct from Sony, it's an official uh, one. And that just basically snaps onto your DualShock controller like so and then it gives you a handy little grippy bit in order to hold your smartphone, makes it nice and comfortable to play wherever you roam. Now with an iPhone, you can get hooked up to your DualShock 4 controller via Bluetooth as long as you're running at least iOS version 13. However, iOS is also compatible with DualSense as long as you run at least iOS 14.5. That's one of the more recent ones. So just make sure your iPhone's up to date, you should be fine. Now if you want to connect your iPhone to your DualShock or DualSense controller via Bluetooth, all you need to do is hold down the PlayStation button and the share slash create button at the same time until the lights start flashing like so. Then on your iPhone, just head to the settings and go to Bluetooth all the way up there at the top. And you should see your DualShock or your DualSense wireless controller listed in there. If it's in pairing mode, just give that a tap and they'll be all paired up nice and easy. Now at this point, if everything's gone to plan, you should be asked by the Remote Play app if you want to connect to a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5. So just tap whichever one is appropriate. Now if you've got a PS5, you will be asked to turn on the Remote Play feature on your PlayStation before it'll actually work. Thankfully, that's dead easy. Just head to the settings menu and then go to system and then remote play and from there just turn on the remote play feature. And then as long as your PlayStation console is switched on and connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your smartphone, the two should just pair up and immediately you're in, ready for action. And in the future, loading up a bit remote play app on your smartphone is supposed to wake your PlayStation if it is hibernating at the time. I found that that feature sometimes doesn't work at all. You do actually have to go in, turn on your PlayStation, make sure it's fully booted up before it'll actually pair up. But that little grumble aside, Remote Play should hopefully, touch what as long as your network is up to it, work absolutely flawlessly and you can play pretty much any PlayStation game via Remote Play apart from obvious exceptions like PSVR titles. Using PlayStation Remote Play on your PC. If you want to get a bit remote play on your go on your Windows PC or laptop, no worries, it's nice and straightforward just like connecting to a smartphone. Now first up you'll have to head to the appropriate Sony web page to actually download the Remote Play app onto your Windows PC. Uh, it tells you a little bit more on this page about the actual specs required. Don't worry, as long as your PC is running Windows 10, you'll probably be able to run Remote Play. Basically any computers from the last few years should be capable. 
Just scroll down, tick I agree to the SIE application, yada, 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 and hit download. Once the installer has downloaded, just open that on up and then just follow the instructions to get it all set up. Once that's all installed, just open up the PS Remote Play app and then tap sign into PlayStation Network. And what you'll need to do is just sign in with your usual creds that you use to sign into your PlayStation. You'll then be asked, what do you want to connect to a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5? So just tap whichever one you want. And note that if you are trying to connect to a PS5, you will have to do a little bit of setup on your console before you can use Remote Play. All you've got to do is on your PS5, head to the settings menu and then go to system and then remote play and then just tap the little option which says enable remote play. And also know that before you dive into a gaming session, you'll want to hook up your DualShock or your DualSense controller. Either is compatible with Windows 10, but you will have to get all wired up. So for instance, I'll be connecting a DualSense controller for remote playing with my PS5. So just hook them up via USB. With a bit of luck, your Windows uh, PC should automatically detect that you've connected a new device and get it all set up for you. So as you can see there, device is ready, wireless controller is set up, and then you're ready to get connected to your PlayStation 4 or your PlayStation 5. And hopefully it should be fairly quick and easy. There we go. All set, and of course, you'll want to maximize this window so you're not just squinting at some tiny little box right in the center of your display. Good to go. Wah! And that's up using PlayStation Remote Play on a Mac computer. And the good news is you can run a PlayStation Remote Play on pretty much any Mac OS device from the past few years, be it a MacBook, an iMac, whatever. Just head to the link which I will bung in the video description down below and then scroll on down past the Get Ready section. It just tells you the system requirements, which are very light indeed. You just need to be running some sort of Mac OS from the last four years, basically. And then you will find a section labeled Install the app. All you need to do is tick the I agree to the SIE, blah, 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 hit download. When the package is downloaded, just open that on up. And then it's nice and simple. Just follow the instructions, basically. It takes up very little uh, hard drive space, thankfully. With that done, just head to the launch pad and find the PS Remote Play app. And the first stage, as always, is to sign into the PlayStation Network using your credentials that you use to sign into your PlayStation console. Once you're all signed in, it's time to hug up a controller. Now, you can use either DualShock or DualSense controllers with macOS. If you're running macOS 11.3 or later, you can actually hook up via Bluetooth. Otherwise, you can just use the cable. And for convenience, I'm going to go wireless. What you'll need to do is on the controller, hold down the PlayStation button and then either the share or the create button. You hold those in together for a little while and then you'll notice that lights start blinking. You'll then want to head to your Bluetooth settings, which you can find in system preferences. And then you'll see DualSense wireless controller or DualShock wireless controller pop up there. Just hit connect. And that's it done. Piece of piddle. Back in the Remote Play app, you'll then want to choose which console you want to connect to, a PlayStation 4 or a PS5. If you are connecting to a PS5, note that you will have to enable Remote Play on the console before you can actually use it. This is nice and easy though. All you got to do is go on your console, go to the settings menu and then head to system and then remote play and then just turn on the enable remote play option. And then just like that, we are connected to our PlayStation and ready for action. You will of course want to expand this window so it's not this tiny, tiny little thing that you can barely see in the center. Choose your game and away you go. And there you have it. That's how you use Sony's remote play app to get gaming on your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 via your smartphone, your Windows PC or your Mac OS. And for more of the latest, greatest tech, including full reviews of Sony smartphones and other shenanigans, please do pull subscribe and ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.